In this video we're going to look at how to add images to your theme. In order to demonstrate how easy it is, I'm starting with a theme that has absolutely no images in it whatsoever. As you can see I have my theme loaded here. I have my folders ready to go. And I have my style sheet ready to go. Let's say first of all I want to add a background image to the whole of the page. I don't need to use Firebug to find out how to do this because I'm just going to add a background image to the body tag. So in my style sheet, in body, I need to put some sort of background property. The theme that you're working on might already have a background property, so you just need to add the URL theme bit to it. This is the syntax you need to use in order to insert an image into the background of an area on your page. You do not need to memorize this. You can simply find it from somewhere else within the style sheet or if you have a style sheet like my one which doesn't have any images in it whatsoever you can open up a style sheet from a different theme find where it's got URL or pics and copy that little section remembering of course to rename the bit that specifies which file you're talking about now that background won't work yet because one of the things that I need to do is I need to make sure that that file paper 002 gets put into the themes pics folder I'm going to save this before I leave it and here is my themes pics folder as you can see that image isn't there I'm going to copy it from where I have it saved and put it into the pics folder now when I return to my theme and refresh that image is in the background but how do you replace the title with a banner well using firebug I can find the area where the title sits or the div in which it sits I may move around a bit just to make sure that I am highlighting the correct div. So I am looking for the page header div within my style sheet. A quick search for page header brings up the section of the style sheet that controls that. At the moment, in this particular theme, I only have a height property. I'm going to copy this background from elsewhere so I don't have to type it out again and change the name I happen to know that my themes banner is called banner.png so I am changing the name in here to banner I also happen to know that my banner is 100 pixels high so I need to make sure to change the height property to allow for the banner's height this is not all that needs to be done. I'm also going to make sure that the banner is in my pics folder, but that's not all. There are some other things that need to be done. When I refresh that, you will see that the banner actually repeats itself. I don't want it to repeat itself. And I also don't want this text to be showing up. So I'm going to return to my style sheet and I'm going to add some properties to the background section here. I'm going to tell it to not repeat and just for good measure I'm going to tell it that the background needs to be top left. If I save this again and go back to my site and refresh I've solved one of the problems. The other problem is this text up here. I can either move it across to the right so that it is next to the logo if I want to keep it or I can make it vanish completely I'll show you both ways using firebug and the inspect element tool I'm going to highlight just the text 
Now I can see that the class header main influences this text. So in my style sheet, that is what I'm going to look for. There currently isn't anything in my style sheet that controls header main. It is being controlled by the parent style sheets, so I need to add it in. The quick way to do that is to return to Firebug, copy this, put it in the appropriate place with my header banner in the style sheet, and from there on I can then put in the properties that I want. I'm going to add padding left 600 pixels. That means that the text will be pushed over to the right to leave 600 pixels to the left of it. I happen to know that my picture is 600 pixels wide, so that is what I'm going to do. My text has now moved over so that it is no longer over the top of my logo. However, this can cause some issues when resizing the page. Look at what happens to the logged in information. I would actually prefer for that text not to show up at all. So in my style sheet, instead of telling it padding left, I'm going to tell it not to display at all and save it. That's much better. You can add images to any area of the Moodle page that has an area. For example, I can add a gradient to the custom menu bar or to the navigation bar. Using inspect element I'm going to inspect the navigation bar element. I can see from the information here and from the information over in the style area that the navigation bar is controlled by the navbar class. So I'm going to find that in my style sheet. And there it is. I'm going to add a little bit to the existing background property here. I happen to know that my file is called hgradient white. I also want to make sure that it is repeated going across the page and that it is positioned top left. I'm going to save that. I'm going to make sure my gradient is in the pics folder and then when I refresh my navigation bar now has a white gradient on it. That gradient is white to transparent which is why you can still see the pink behind it. I hope you have a lot of fun adding images to your theme.